What's up, guys? On the way home, figured I might throw a little little blog at you guys. Um, something I wanted to talk about that's been just nagging the crap out of me, really. Um, I've had a few calls last couple weeks where I have replaced uh, one was a warranty, one was not a warranty, uh, TXVs, expansion valves, and um, I know you, you guys notice I have, I do have a, a video about how expansion valves are basically crap, but anyways, um, I had to swap them out, and I had a third call two days ago where I had to fix a leak on a unit, and at the end of those jobs, after putting in the uh, TXVs and repairing the leak on those three separate jobs, um, you know, you're supposed to change the liquid line filter dryer on them. That is the protocol for it, which I did. Um, the thing that upsets me is why, and I know not every brand does it. So I'm, I'm going to kind of bag a little on Linux since our company really sells Linux. And I do like Linux overall. There's a couple little things that kind of tick me off with Linux though. But why does Linux continue to install liquid line filter dryers inside the condensing units? I don't understand why they do that. I, I understood why they started doing that from what I was told. In the beginning with that whole Copeland scroll compressor and the rust inhibitor, all that nonsense that was going on, uh, the manufacturers, one being Lennox, thought that maybe it was an install related issue where the installers are not taking the, the correct uh, installation procedures to install these systems and or not putting dryers in. So to eliminate that, they started installing liquid line dryers inside the condenser before your uh, your uh, service valves so they f eventually found out it had nothing to do with that it was going back to Copeland um, so why do they keep doing that you know because you know it's one thing you know when you got a simple TXV job you know and all you gotta do is pump the system down and you know if it's flared you know you just stick remove the expansion valve Assuming the liquid line dryer is where it needs to be at, right there at the right there at the evaporator coal, the inlet of the coal, it's, it'll be a lot easier job. I don't understand now if my dryer is inside the condensing unit, I have to recover all the gas out of the system, which is going to take longer, and I got to bring more equipment to the job, you know, to to where the unit's at, recover all the gas, and you know, I end up just removing the old dryer out there and just stick a, uh, a straight piece of 3 8 copper where the dryer used to be at, solder that, and then stick it outside where it's a lot easier. So in the future, all I got to do is just swap it outside of the pole. Um, but, you know, it, it just starts, you know, I understand why they started, but it, it's, it's getting pretty annoying because, you know, what, what takes a few hours now is taking, you know, an extra hour, sometimes a little longer than that, just to do a simple job like a leak repair or replace a valve, a TXV. Um, so yeah, Lennox, I'm bagging on you today. Um, the leak repair was actually on a ream unit, which they had their their catch-all dryer inside the condenser before the valve as well. Um, I haven't seen any carriers do it, and I don't think I've seen any new trains do it. But uh, definitely Lennox and, and, and some of the reams are, are, are sticking their stupid dryers inside the unit. And it's just aggravating. Just make makes the service tech's life a little more, not difficult, it's just longer. You know, so. Um, and at the same time, if you're ever, you know, in the future when you're checking your subcooling, the, if the liquid line dryer is... before your service valve you would not read the proper 
head pressure nor subcooling. It'll actually look like the system's low on gas. Um, so, anyways. Just a little rant. Thought you guys, uh, let me know what you guys think about it. I, I don't know what you guys are coming across in different parts of the country, but, um, I know over here in Georgia, uh, especially with my company, we mainly deal with Lennox. That's that, you know, that's all I'm finding is those dryers. I don't think they do them on, on the uh, the 13 Sears, the 13 ACX models. I think from the 14 onward, definitely the 16 Sear have them for sure. But I think the 14 onward and higher have um, dryers inside the condensed units. So, um, yeah, I just, you know, just had a few jobs with them and figured I might vent it out to y'all, see what y'all think um, and how they affect your life as a service tech. Anyways, I'm almost at the house, guys. It's Friday, 5, 10, and it's been, it's been pretty busy. But um, looks like we got some mild temperatures this this week and next week over here in the Atlanta area, so it'll probably slow down a bit. Anyways, guys, if you like the video, like, subscribe. See you on the next one.